is the Emergency Medical Minute. Sibilance testing, testing. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, nosebleeds, uh, transexemic acid versus uh, usual standard care. So, I've never done this before, uh, but I was intrigued by it because sometimes nosebleeds are the bane of our existence. So, so when you have like the patient who's like just dribbling out and going, he won't stop bleeding, and you're <laughs> trying to. Um, you did this too? No, I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, forget what I said today, and you'll get a better presentation next week. <clears throat> Ah, so anyway, uh, the story is, uh, this is a study that had 216 patients uh, that were enrolled, and they either got the usual care, so numbing medicine like some epinephrine, um, numbing medicine, and then put in a packing, or they took TXA. TXA is that stuff we're using for like the major traumas, big bleeds. It was studied um, more, uh, I think like a lot of the studies were out of Israel, is that right, for... Um for trauma stuff. Anyway, they take a pledge it, a cotton swab, uh, put some TXA on it, put it up the nostril, leave it there for a little bit, and then take it out. Um, the other group had the um, packing left in, and the interesting thing is the rebleed rate was much lower with TXA, so 4.7% versus 12.8%. Um, so it's pretty uh, significant. TXA has been around forever. It's a generic, so it's not too expensive. Um, so it's something we might want to um, consider uh, trying here. The other thing is satisfaction. They do um, like a satisfaction score. I know how like our whole life now revol revolves around uh, satisfaction and two by twos. I don't even know what a two by two is, but it seems like everything <laughs> revolves around it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, the two by two. Uh, so uh, the satisfaction, they have like a visual analog scale where, you know, 10 is satisfied, one is not satisfied, and you point on like the line. If you get the TXA, you are 8.5, and if you got the usual packing with, the, you know, the cotton things up your nostrils, 4.4. So anyway, patients are more satisfied. It didn't compare it to our balloons that we're using. It was just the normal uh, cotton packing. So I thought it was a, an older study, interesting. It was brought up in some sort of throwaway journal type of thing. So I thought I'd reintroduce it to the group. Thanks. Yeah, so we have TXA. We have like the monster sized doses for using in trauma. Probably just call a pharmacy and have them send up. Yeah. But it's only, you only need like 500 milligrams, so it's a pretty low. So you do five cc's of TXA and five cc's of sterile water, right? That's what I was Yeah, I, I think it doesn't. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, this study used 500 milligrams of TXA in 5 mLs. It probably doesn't matter if it's 1,000 milligrams or 250 milligrams. It's, it's not like it's toxic or anything if you put it in the nose. No, I mean, you don't get Emergency Medical Minute is, and always will be, about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.